This is my friend Ethan. <laughs> and for the past couple years, we have gone on numerous fishing adventures. It seems like just yesterday when we would have our parents drop us off at the neighborhood pond to fish every single day after school. On the water, I've shared many memories with Ethan. Some very high. Yes. Let's go! Yes! Oh. Let's go! Ah. Let's go! And some kind of low. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I am thankful for that kid. Ethan being a part of my life is a reason on why I am able to do what I am doing right this moment. I am a firm believer in giving back to people when you have the opportunity to do that. And so if you're a big viewer of the channel, you would know that Ethan doesn't have any Shimano reels. He's always wanted some Shimanos, especially a DC reel. So you already know from the title of the video that today, I will be surprising Ethan with a brand spanking new 2021 Shimano Scorpion DC. Everyone knows you can't just catch fish with a reel. So right here I have a Guggen Squad Gold Series go to for Ethan as well. You would literally be lying to me if you told me this does not look good. The silver and the red from the Scorpion go so well with the black and gold on this Guggen rod. <sighs> Currently, Ethan is thinking that we are about to go film some crazy lure challenge, and I told him to wait at the pond for me. What he doesn't know is that he's gonna be surprised with a $410 combo. I'm stoked, and I hope you are too. Let's go get his reaction. Enjoy. Oh, one more thing. Ethan does, in fact, know that he is gonna get this combo. But someone may have told him his reel is on a cargo ship somewhere in the Pacific Ocean and won't arrive until next month. It d definitely wasn't me. All right, I got Ethan coming down now. Here we go. Yeah, so like grab, help me grab some stuff here. That's awesome. I got you, didn't I? Yesterday I told you the reel's not gonna be here until uh, a while and then, uh, see that's why I gave you all these instructions. I wanted to present this the best way as possible. Go ahead and pick up your new stick, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's pretty great timing because I was fishing with my old bait caster um, and I kept getting a backlash and I noticed I had a knot. My reel didn't start sounding good. Well. Uh, this is the replacement. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't be a good friend if I just gave him a rod and a reel and like not give him any line either. So Ethan, in here, these just came in today. I have two of the best fluorocarbons in the market. I don't even have these on my own reels yet, uh, but you will choose which one you want. So you got the option of Sunline SC Sniper or Berkeley Professional Grade Fluorocarbon. So just choose which one you want. This is 14, 15, and we'll get you spooled up. All right, good Sunline. choice. Good option. I would have chosen that too. All right, let's get you spooled up. Look at how smooth that is. It's not stopping. To kind of go along the Japanese trend, this line is actually cool. Japanese line, so. Sun line. Yup. All right, back up a little. All right, real. You have to put tension on it though, right? Yeah. What, that's what you're doing with your fingers right now. If you guys are liking this kind of content, let me know down in the comment section. Drop a like as well. That would uh, be a good indicator, and I'm sure Ethan and my other friends would <laughs> enjoy this kind of stuff too. I'd recommend setting the brakes on three to start off with since mm -hmm. it's gonna be your first cast with this reel. All right. So what's on the inside? Inside, I'll show you. So yeah. So to open up this door, to open up this side plate, what you do, you go all the way, there's an open switch. Okay. Down, yep. Flip it. This way or this way? Down this way. Yep. There you go. So. Right here, these are your line settings. Right now you're on fluorocarbon, which is what you're throwing. So it's all set for you. And go ahead and pop that back on. That's Sweet. the computer right there. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a while to learn, but once you got it. There we go. Yeah. All right, now come this way where there aren't any trees. This pond right here is pretty choked up with hydrilla, but, 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 
that makes the fish really easy to target because they're just gonna be right there right there and so forth okay man go ahead and uh take your first cast with the new bait caster okay i'm just gonna slow pitch because it's my first cast yeah, go for it mm. that's awesome All right, that's some serious distance. That's pretty sweet. All right, well, enough talking. I think uh, it's time for me to get my line in the water as well. Now, I also want to thank all of you guys because Ethan, I wouldn't be able to give Ethan such a gift without the support from all of y'all and how far we've come as a channel. Oh yeah, Ethan, you might want to rip up the appendages of, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, sorry about that. Now we're just going to have fun and fish a bit. Ethan's gonna have his own POV in this video. And right now I'm just throwing my boring old Cronark. Just kidding. I love this thing. It ain't no DC, but uh, it's the job done. I also forgot to mention, this is Ethan's first time throwing fluorocarbon. He's used to throwing braid. Part of the reason why I got him this new setup was to kind of get him away from the mindset of just like, you know, throwing straight up braid for every single technique. Cause you know, fluorocarbon, is very 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 helpful when fishing t-rigs first pitch the new rod not terrible probably better with probably better than my rod with braid any backlash at all probably came from me because there was no breaks i hope you all are enjoying ethan's perspective and i hope he is giving you guys decent commentary he doesn't do this kind of youtube stuff that much he does have a channel kind of have to because i only have 50 minutes of content left Anyways, I have faith that he's, you know, making it entertaining for y'all. Yo. Got one. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, Ethan. Oh. Yes, oh. Bring him up. Bring him up. Dude, bring him he up. hammered it. Is it a big one? I think so. Wait, it, it's also coming in with the hydrilla. All right, I'll bring him this way. Careful, careful. Bring him wait, way. he might be off. I don't feel anything. No, no, it's just no, no, wait. No. It's just wait. He's on there. He's on there. Trust me. Trust me. Never came off. All right. Careful. Don't high stick the rod. Okay. Ooh, dude, <laughs> give me some, bro. All right. All right. Let's get this fish in. Reach down and get it. There we go, yes! baby. This is a good fish. <laughs> He's a solid two, probably. Yes. Hey, you like the trench hog? Dude. So I had my line just, I, I got it on camera too. I had my line just on the edge of the hydrilla and I just feel thunk out of now, nowhere. Real question, were you recording? There you go! <laughs> Felt the thump as obvious as day. Uh, yeah. And he just inhaled the trench hog. First fish on the new combo. Guggen Gold Rod, Scorpion DC. Hit it like a champ. Mm-hmm. Good now, fish. That's how you properly break in new setup oh yeah there we go into the abyss <laughs> hope there's no ticks here don't have to worry about snakes that much in virginia but ticks on the other hand those things are uh, big no-nos it's like 80 maybe but it's like humid <laughs> just classic virginia weather virginia is literally a swamp we got mosquitoes we got ticks we got some snakes we don't have gators so all you florida people watching that's gonna be about it for today's video ethan you do the outro okay so today totally by surprise i was gifted a scorpion dc on a guggen gold rod um he'd been mentioning it to me a little bit uh and so totally by surprise like i said um and then first 15 minutes of fishing on a trench hog thunk through the hydrilla Two and a half pound bass. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you're not already subscribed to Fishery Inn, please subscribe. Killer content. You might even see me or my friend Nathan too. And yeah, that'll be about it. Thanks for watching, and as always, fish for the adventure.